it's Brenda with Creations by Baby Doll. Today I'm going to be doing a dirty cut pour on an 8x10. I'm using Artist Loft Phthalo Blue, Master's Touch Blue Lake, Master's Touch Titanium White, Creative Inspirations Ultramarine Blue, and Deco Art Extreme Sheen Copper. And I'm going to do them in the same order that I put them in. Start with the blue. And light blue. <laughs> Titanium white. And ultramarine. We're going to go with another round. Now when I'm putting them in there, I'm squeezing the bottle a little bit harder than normal because I want it to get in there and mix with the other paints. So instead of my usual layering, And then do another squirt of cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it on anyway. And move the paint so it hits that center of the canvas. There we go. Now bring the weight back. And we're going to give it a torch. Start with this direction. Oh, and I'm going to bring the paint back. And let's go this way. Bring the paint back to the middle. And I'm going to turn it around. Make it a little bit easier for me on the tilting. Hmm. Interesting. Turn out to be very interesting. Not exactly what I was expecting, but hey, that's always you never know what you're gonna expect with and get with a acrylic pour. You can use the same technique, put them in the same order, use the same amount of paint, and it'll still be something different every time. And I'm not liking that core that much, so I'm trying to get it off a little bit. Try 
try to bring it back down so it doesn't distort the cells too much. That's interesting. It's like a galaxy there. Still not liking that corner. There we go. And then let's try to bring it back down and to the side. And make sure to wipe your edges because that way when it dries, it doesn't keep drawing your paint off. And then you'll come back to something that looks completely different than what you've had before when it was wet. Hmm, let's give it another torch and see what if anything pops up right here. But I'm sort of liking that negative space on it. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm really digging into this copper and the way it's gone in. Now, that's the one thing. My copper did not have silicone in it. Thank you all for joining me today on this video. If you could, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Bye, y'all.